Hello, I'm Georgie and this is your Week in Tech. This week we're filming at the offices of online coffee delivery service Pack Coffee. From the HQ here in London, they roast pack and send out thousands of bags of freshly roasted coffee every day. And this week they launched an equity crowdfunding campaign on Crowdcube so that anyone can invest in the company. London-based startup Qubit has closed a $40 million Series C round led by Goldman Sachs. The startup, founded in 2010 by four former Google employees, also drew support from Sapphire Ventures, Salesforce Ventures and Excel. MWR InfoSecurity, a research-led cybersecurity consultancy firm from Basingstoke, has raised £3 million in funding from the Environmental Technologies Fund. Isomer Capital has launched a 150 million euro investment fund to boost European tech startups. Tech Hub Swansea has launched a tech accelerator in partnership with the Welsh Government. Successful teams will have the chance to win up to £10,000 in funding. Ideas.fund will take on a maximum of 10 startups, which will receive two months of mentorship from brands including Just Eat, Google, New Look and Entrepreneur First. Applications close on the 18th of March. Mastercard has confirmed that it will launch biometric payments for UK consumers this summer, enabling them to pay online by using a fingerprint or by taking a selfie. The move comes amid an increased interest in biometric security, with HSBC and First Direct announcing the rollout of their voice biometric security tech in the UK just this week. Mobile World Congress has taken place this week. 100,000 people headed to Barcelona to see the latest handsets and mobile developments. Samsung got Mark Zuckerberg on stage for the launch of the Galaxy S7, who talked about making 360-degree video mainstream. Meanwhile, mobile tech startups packed out the Four Years From Now exhibit to showcase their ideas to investors. India's largest travel company, Ibiba Group, has raised $250 million in new funding from Naspers Group, which is based in South Africa. The group operates hotel and flight bookings platform GoIbibo.com, with the company claiming it has seen a 400% year-over-year increase in transactions. Our download of the week is HireHub. You can use HireHub to book a handyman, plumber or builder. All of the service providers are background checked for you and the rest is simply done through the app. And finally, the Facebook thumbs up button has had its day. This week, the company rolled out new reactions, reducing the feelings of a human to five key emotions. The love, ha ha, wow, sad and angry buttons. This has been your week in tech. For more, check out Tech City News and follow us on Twitter.